I have a story for you, X. Have any of you had a reoccurring dream? Like, a really vivid one, where you feel as though you're actually there? I used to have this one strange dream in particular when I was a kid. I had this dream on and off for the span of several years. I have never posted this story anywhere else, and to be honest, the only other person I've told this to was my older brother, who thought I was delusional. Everything here is completely, 100% true. The year 2000. I am 6 years old. My family had recently moved into a brand new house in a nice little neighborhood in southeast Melbourne, Australia. This neighborhood is located just south of, pretty much a part of, a section of a huge national park. Pretty much a mix of open fields and dense forest, with hiking and bike riding trails running throughout the park. Our house was at the end of a cul-de-sac that was about less than 30 meters from the tree line and the entrance to one of the walking tracks. 2007. I am 13 at this point. Me and my older brother and kids from next door went out exploring the forest for a number of hours at a time. Walking along the trails without a care in the world, riding out bikes to the lake in the summer to go swimming, we decided to camp out there one night, not too far from the house, but not in the backyard. The morning before heading out, we all decided that we go to our super secret hideout, this really dense area about a 20 minute walk from our house. We take a five man tent, sleeping bags, flashlights, and a whole bunch of snacks and make our way into the woods. We set up pretty quickly and get a small fire going. By the time the sun had set, we had already eaten most of the food and were in the process of telling each other spooky ghost stories. At about 1am, we were all pretty damn tired, so we crawled into the tent and went to sleep. I can remember exactly what I dreamt that night, as this would become a routine thing for me. It starts with me waking up in my bed really early in the morning, like 5am. I get out of bed, still wearing my PJs, and walk to the kitchen. All of the lights are on, and everything seems as though it's very subtly tinted blue. For some unknown reason, I walk out the front door, barefoot, and make my way into the pitch black woods along the main trail in complete silence. After maybe one kilometer in, I walk off to the right, down a slight hill, and into a particularly dense area. After making my way through in between some bushes, I step onto a narrow, rocky, dirt path that snaked its way through the trees off into the distance. At this point, the sun has already risen enough to light the place up, and I notice that everything still seems slightly blue, unlike the usual green and brown. For some reason, it only dawns on me now that I have absolutely no idea where I am. After walking for what feels like hours, I finally make my way into this perfect little clearing. Everything looks just the same as any other part of the forest, except for one glaring feature. There's an old, bright red car parked right in the middle of the clearing. It was rather clean and seemed to have been looked after by someone. I am not at all fazed by this, and I walk up to the driver's side door and pull the handle. The door opens, and I look down at the seat. The seat is heavily stained with what might have been blood or wine or something similar, and there are a number of small broken bones on the floor near the pedals. The rest of the car, however, is completely fine and damn near spotless. It's at this point that I decided that I'm tired from my long walk, so I close the door and open the back seat door. I crawl inside, closing the door after me and lay down on the back seats drifting off to sleep. The next thing I remember was waking up in the tent next to my brother and her friends. I can still remember 
every single detail of my dream, as though it had just happened. I decided it was nothing but a crazy dream, and wake everyone up so we can pack up and head home. I spend the entire walk home in silence, thinking about my dream. Over the next three months, I had the exact same dream, about seven times. At this point, I'm starting to get a little worried. I ask my brother if I can tell him something. After explaining exactly what I saw to him, he asked me if I've been stealing booze from a parent's liquor cabinet. I tell him several times that I am being completely serious, but he brushes me off, claiming that I'm just crazy. I consider telling my mom, but decide to try and debunk this mystery on my own. I'd be Sherlock Holmes and get to the bottom of it. Didn't have a computer at home, so that ruled out searching online for answers. Couldn't find any books on dreams at the school library, so I pretty much gave up at that point. I was still having the dream about once every two weeks or so. After several more months of having this repeat dream, it started happening less and less frequently, and life pretty much returned to normal. Late August 2012, I have the dream again for the first time in about 18 months. Exactly the same as every other time before, I decide I'm gonna get to the bottom of this, no matter what. I'm sick of having this stupid fucking dream, and I thought it had stopped. I remember, I set out from home around 5pm on the 23rd. I can still vividly recall the exact path my dream had led me down, and I start making my way into the woods for the first time in roughly two years. I walk along the main trail until I reach the slope I had walked down many times before in my dream. I make a right and head into the bushes. After a little while, I find the dirt path leading through the trees and I follow it along. I walk for hours until I finally reach the clearing, but there's no red car anywhere. There are, however, a set of tire tracks leading off further into the woods. At this point, I am thoroughly freaked out and consider turning back before it gets too dark, but I decide to push onwards. I follow the tracks along a short way to an area with considerably less trees, and then I see it, the old red car, just sitting there, but it's been completely trashed and busted up. I'm a mix of excited and on the verge of shitting myself. I walk up to the car to inspect it. The driver's seat has been ripped out, along with the hood and the rear door. It looked as though it had been sitting there for years. I whip out my phone and take two photos, just in case I never see it again. I start jogging back along the path and get home around 9pm. I eat dinner with my family in complete silence, a million thoughts racing through my head. I went to bed that night, expecting to have the dream again, but it did not happen. I haven't had the dream again ever since that afternoon in the woods. Still have no explanation as to why this has happened to me. Three nights ago, going through photos on my old piece of shit, Asus laptop. Find the photos of the car. All these memories flood back. Decide to write out this post and post it to X. Pick related. It's the car, taken from my phone. Here is the other photo. I honestly have no idea as to why I started having the dreams, but it is, without a doubt, the spookiest thing to ever happen to me. Does anyone have any ideas as to why this would have happened? It all started that night we went camping in the woods. I will be monitoring this thread periodically, answering any questions I can. I found the car roughly 150 meters from the clearing, and I have no clue how far it would be from the nearest road. It was a pretty isolated area. As for the tire tracks, the path had several muddy patches that looked as though they had dried up a while ago, but left clear tracks from what I can only imagine was the car. Now that I've had some time to look back on it, I'm getting the feeling it could have been an out-of-body experience, or perhaps 
I was led there by a ghost. I really don't know. The clearing was quite far into the park, further than I had ever been in before. I have a whole lot of memories of exploring around certain areas, but we never went that far, just in case we got lost. I doubt I'd have ESP, but I want to say Eastern Europe or North America. I probably saw the future in a dream. I had a dream a few days ago. Not just a regular dream, but a premonition. I know it's a premonition. It feels different from regular dreams I have, and even my lucid dreams. It's more vivid, longer, and more complex in plot. I haven't had many premonitions in my lifetime, but all that I've had have been that way. The first few times I had premonitions felt surreal. I thought I was crazy, or just having false memories of having dreamed about something before. But the fact is that I dreamed them, and they happened. The first premonition I remember having was years ago, just months before the Ebola outbreak that was sensationalized and then just disappeared from the mainstream consciousness. During the time, the dream felt more vivid than my normal ones, which I found weird, but I thought nothing of it beyond that, until a few months later when my dream started playing out in real life. I remember exactly where I was when I first heard about it. I was at my grandfather's house, watching the news, freaking out internally, wondering if it was really happening. It would not be until a few days later, when I had access to my dream journal, that I would confirm that I had actually dreamed about it. Watching it as it progressed just validated my dream more, but also twisted my stomach. I eventually wrote it off as coincidence, and relegated it to the back of my mind for my own peace. I was reminded of it years later as I had a few more premonitions, but for brevity's sake, I will not delve into those. I'm here to talk about a recent premonition I had. I had a dream, a dream I think I should share, but it doesn't give us much hope for the future. The dream started with me encountering some news I expected would be controversial. Trump had been acquitted of all charges recently levied against him. I'm personally not a fan of him myself, so I was a bit bummed at the news. But we're not here to talk about politics. The news predictably angered the leftists and vindicated right-wing fanatics, worsening the existing tension between them as well as racial tensions. Here in my dream, there is a time skip. Trump was running in the 2024 presidential election, and by most metrics, seemed to have won. Over the course of his term, he would unsurprisingly pass many divisive laws and policies and make many decisions widely disapproved of. Sometime during his term, he begins to rebuild relations with Russia after they have won against Ukraine. This adds to internal tensions, and after so long of building up, the bubble bursts. Full-scale, violent protests, divided along political and racial lines, takes place across the United States, putting both the Rodney King and George Floyd protests to shame. This went on for months and over time devolved into a full-on civil war. Meanwhile, in the southern Americas, there is both internal and international tensions as civilians begin to protest against policies agreed upon by Trump and SA officials. In my dream, I saw that a civil war was also ignited there in Central America and around. The civil war slowly transitioned into an international war with the US. I saw that the nationalist movements there had been manipulated by Russians who fled to Central America during the course of the Ukraine war to escape, but among them were Russian sleeper agents, hoping to take advantage of existing tensions for their own purposes when the time was right. I also saw that Russia was somehow also responsible for worsening the tensions in America that lead to the civil war there. Russia already 
had formed secret alliances with multiple Southern and Central American countries by the time the civil wars in SA and the US had broken out. They used this and Central Americans waging war against the US to their advantage and decided to invade an already in distress United States from Mexico. Why, I don't know why. I saw the war eventually devolving into a nuclear exchange between the US and Russia. In my dream, I also saw China invading Taiwan. In my dream, I got the sense that they invaded Taiwan for multiple reasons, but mainly, they wanted access to the semi-slash-superconductors that Taiwan managed to make, because it would allow them to improve some secret military tech they had been working on. I don't know what happens after this, because I wake up around this time. Maybe this is all just my brain being fucking weird, but I don't think so. It does feel like a premonition, just like my other dreams, but I hope I'm wrong this time. Sorry if my story makes no sense. I tried to rush through it, because I hate thinking about it, but I hope that by writing about it, I can find a sense of relief. Am I cursed? For the past five or so months, I've had a strange phenomenon happening to me. It started the night before my dog passed away. Just as I was closing my eyes to go to sleep, I saw a sudden flash of blackness against the darkness of my eyelids, a jarringly black, rounded shape. Ever since then, I have always known the night before anything bad happens to people that I know. Almost always, others rather than myself. I'll be trying to sleep and suddenly see the black flash and be jolted awake. It's sometimes something as simple as getting a little sick, but I've seen it as severe as an acquaintance getting into a motorcycle accident. The straw that broke the camel's back from me to ask is the last night I saw it again. And today, a friend of my father's was diagnosed with acute leukemia. I've never seen the flash and had nothing happen. I don't see it on any set schedule or frequency either, as far as I can tell. I don't really dabble in the occult, and I can't think of any reason for someone to curse me, although I have seen a handful of ex-events in the past. What I want to know is, what is this blackness I say? Is it, in fact, the result of a curse? Or is it some sort of warning omen? Not the cause of the misfortune, but a premonition of it to come. Has anyone here had something similar happen? Well, that I can remember? Not really, except for one super clearly. Several when I was little, I suppose. I'm told that after my grandpa passed away, while riding in the car with my mother and grandma, I felt like somebody had yanked the hair on the back of my head, which is evidently something he used to do a lot. I remember as a kid one night, I was sleeping with my parents for whatever reason. I thought I saw a light in the room for a brief moment near me. I'm told, when I was like two or three years old, I had said to my mother on one night that I thought I saw a lot of little, tiny, floating lights, red and even black ones. I can sort of remember that they were like little pixels, almost blinking in and out sporadically. An instance where I evidently saw little people moving in the walls, like scenes of tiny elves in a grassy field, sort of like seeing outside through a glass window, but they were 2D, like a drawing. That one, I'm not sure if it actually happened or if I dreamed it. I thought I heard voices, but it was always like a few words. It's only happened twice, both long, long ago. Only time I can remember is hearing the words, run, run, whispered in my ear in a room when I was by myself. The only one I can really say I remember happening while awake and clearly conscious was when I was maybe 10 years old. It was nighttime, but I was in my mother's room talking to her. I went to walk back out to my room, and in the dark living room, I thought I saw a gargoyle-like creature with glowing red eyes squatting and suddenly looked towards me. I shut the door and walked right back out and stayed in there a long time. 
When I closed the door, it was gone. Never had anything happen after that until now. The only exception is I have had really strange dreams ever since, even through the period when I was a hardcore materialist atheist. I had dreams about being attacked by ghosts and other sorts of creatures, and still do. I'm not scared or anything. It's not like I dread sleeping or wake up feeling bad, but it happens a lot. I generally find such dreams actually interesting. Really, I like dreams about fighting after all. The weird thing is, they are hyper-consistent about how they work and their limitations, and I have always been really scared of the idea of encountering ghosts and all that stuff. It's not the same. I don't know if I believe in that sort of thing anyhow, but I thought it would be interesting if it was the same. I think the only genuine thing I can say is it's a lonely feeling to have. No one will really connect with it or understand it like you do. For me, when it started, it happened frequently. Now, it's been many years, and it's less than it was, but still enough. I just had it for the first time in a while, about a week ago, and I am just getting over the sort of hangover of it. I don't know what it is, or how to explain it, but I know that I do on some level understand it, and how it feels to go through it. It's never felt like a gift for me, but people have viewed it as such. It does feel like a companion of sorts, and in a way, it's my guiding star. I don't know if that's good or bad, but it's what I have, and it is the most real thing I know, and in a way, I am grateful for that. I felt, and I suppose sometimes, still feel cursed by it though. Osa. It is heavy. It's isolating. It's consuming. It feels pointless to know something is coming. In my own experience, it has almost always been a sign of death. I don't even feel like a spiritual person either, so I can't even reconcile with it because it's never stuck for me. I think when you feel something like this, all these other things are superficial. They are of this world, and whatever it is I feel, whatever you feel, it isn't exactly of this place. Maybe it is though. Maybe it's this place in a very pure, primal form. I don't know. I've spent the last 15 years wondering, and this is the most I can come up with which is barely anything. Don't doubt yourself, just accept it. I spent so much time doubting or trying to find a reason, and there isn't really one, it just sort of is. I don't think anyone has cursed you, the only thing I can figure is maybe it connects to the death of your dog, because mine is linked to one as well. Anyhow, sorry I don't have more helpful things to say, other than I understand. I regularly have premonitions. They're never of anything terribly beneficial, just moments in normal life. But where I'll see a phrase I've never seen before, or a scene in a show I haven't yet watched, or a conversation I haven't yet had. Then there's the thought about, oh, this is a precognitive moment. Gather details quick to confirm. And sure enough, days or weeks later, that entire moment comes to pass in the exact same pattern. I've tested and confirmed it by writing down a premonition before it happened, dating it, and then coming back to it 18 days after the fact once the event occurred. I don't know why it happened, but I want to know if anyone has had similar experiences, and if there's a way to hone this ability. How do you recognize a precognitive moment, and how do you increase their strength and frequency? I'll usually get one every few months, but I don't realize it until that event happens. I don't know about strength or frequency. I also only felt them after the fact earlier. However, I knew that that particular sensation could easily be me self-inducing memories of the vision after the event. So I got into the habit of just pulling in as much data as possible during the moment I recognized the vision. I would look at a book or ever written words and take them in, or find a clock or any key detail about my surroundings to confirm. Eventually, once that habit had been formed, those details were apparent in premonitions and could be used to verify. Now, whenever I have a thought with a similar burst of mundane but specific detail, I know I'm possibly having a premonition. I have experienced 
similar phenomena since early childhood, at least. Unfortunately, I can't really offer any reliable ideas or advice as to what criteria or actions may inspire more premonitions. As far as I've been able to observe, I have not determined any definable impetus behind the frequency of them. Recently, I've had three premonitions be realized in the span of two days. Otherwise, I can go months without any such event occurring. Maybe, with large asterisks, it may be influenced via personally important changes in life, spiritual growth or awakening. I've always interpreted their existence and my conscious realizing of the fact as affirmation of being on a correct path of sorts, though that would presume there is a way to avoid or fall off of any such path which has not occurred so far as I've seen. Have you experienced any dreams that seem like premonitions that have not come true? Not OP, but I have had similar experiences, funnily enough, with dream premonitions. Basically, whenever I have one of these chaotic dreams, as I call them, so there isn't a single narrative, e.g., I get chased by a lion or something, and then wake up, but rather a quick succession of events, like conversations or specific news on TV. These, while short, are very detailed. Like any other dream, I usually forget about it until one of those events happens days or weeks later, at which point, in the moment of deja vu, I remember everything with strange clarity, even the events that I still have not experienced from the dream. I've also had this happen to me since childhood, and I haven't found a way of controlling these, such as having them happen on command. And I've told some other people too in the past, only to be told it's just deja vu. But the thing is, I don't get the feeling just randomly seeing a call twice or something like that. I remember entire fucking conversations. It's usually conversations that I remember. I remember the things I said, the clothes we are wearing, and even the fucking facial expressions. Most precognitive dreams happen just before waking. I have had many of them. Most frequently, they are vague and will relate to some experience the very same day, usually some of the first experiences of the day. For example, I may dream of a cat with long red hair, and the first person I see during the day is a girl with long red hair, something like that. However, I have had dreams which have certainly been precognitive. I saw a building ten years before it was constructed, for example, and the context of the dream proved to be related to the context of the building. Even though I had no idea where the building was in the dream, I saw a plane landing during the dream. The building in real life was built near an airport. Other dreams I have had alluding to actual events that would transpire months later. For example, waking up and hearing all of this debris crashing above my head. I had no idea what it could mean in the dream. But then, Six months later, my building caught fire, and only my apartment was spared, and the unit above would be gutted, and years later, I awoke to identical sounds of the debris crashing above my head, as workers worked in the above unit. Other dreams would allude to living in this place after the fire, and the place being gutted, and traveling through holes in the walls into the frameworks of the empty shell of an old structure. Dreams certainly can be prophetic and tap into a timeless realm that the conscious mind is incapable of understanding. If people wrote down their dreams a lot more, they would undoubtedly have these kinds of experiences as well. I'm actually really interested in this threat. I've had some sort of precognition slash premonitions for a while now, except that I never know or am conscious of what will happen only a very specific things to do to avoid mild consequences. Nothing major, although it's definitely been convenient. Some examples. When my friends and I wanted to avoid paying bus fare because they usually don't check tickets, but I had a really strong feeling to give an old used ticket to my buddy. They don't tend to look very closely when they do check, and it was the only one that I had. He also happened to be the only one that they stopped to ask for a ticket. 
I had to go run an errand, but for some reason, I could not bring myself to go outside my apartment and downstairs, even though I usually have no problem getting it out of the way when I have the chance. When I did force myself to get it done and got down to my lobby, I saw that the locks on the front doors were broken and someone had broken in to steal packages and other things, so I avoided confrontation with someone wielding heavy tools. When I was in school and going out for lunch one day, I had a really strong urge to get my lunch alone instead of with my friends. I came back from lunch and when I saw my friends next, they told me about how they all got mugged while walking back from their lunch. I could probably remember more examples given enough time, but I don't want to clog up the thread, especially if this is off topic since I don't actually understand why I do certain things, I just do them and it somehow keeps me out of harm's way. I'm just wondering if that would be precognition or if pretty much everyone does that.